ask what is shoring in construction? If you're involved in or curious about the construction industry, you might have heard the term shoring thrown around. But what exactly does it mean and why is it so important? Shoring is essentially the process of providing additional support to a structure during the construction process. This support can be crucial for several reasons, such as preventing the structure from collapsing due to loose soil, subsidence, water infiltration, or other factors. Imagine you're, you're building a house and you need to dig a deep foundation. Without proper support, the walls of the excavation could cave in, causing serious safety issues and potentially damaging the structure. This is where shoring comes in. It helps keep the structure stable and secure. There are various types of shoring systems, each designed for different applications. For instance, you have H or I-beam shoring, also known as soldier pile walls. This method involves using prefabricated steel H or I sections that are driven into the ground. These beams don't need pre-drilled holes and can be vibrated directly into the soil, making them ideal for supporting excavations ranging from 1.2 to 5 meters deep. Another type is secant pile shoring, which is used when there's no room for open excavation, such as in tight city spaces. This method involves intersecting two types of piles, a reinforced pile and an unreinforced pile to form a continuous wall. This is particularly useful when working near existing structures where space is limited. Contiguous pile shoring or tangent pile shoring involves closely spaced piles that are tangential to each other. This method is often used in areas with clay soils and where water pressure is minimal. It's great for retaining dry fills or granular materials. Sheet piles are another common type, similar to soldier piles, but constructed using prefabricated Z or U steel sections driven into the ground with a vibro hammer. These are excellent for isolating excavations from nearby water bodies, such as ponds or seasides. Finally, there's diaphragm walls, which are used for deep excavations, like those needed for basements and tunnels. These walls provide strong support and stability in such scenarios. Shoring materials can include timber, steel beams, hydraulic jacks, and braces. The choice of material and design depends on the excavation depth, soil conditions, and the expected loads. For example, heavy timber shoring uses timbers of 4 inch by 12 inch in a laminated system for medium duty applications, while steel beam shoring uses light duty beams placed on supports or brackets. In summary, shoring is a critical component of construction that ensures the stability and safety of structures during the building process. By understanding the different types of shoring and their applications, you can better appreciate the importance of this process in creating durable and secure buildings.